Hey guys, Dorking Vapor here again uh, with another quick video where I'm just testing out a theory. Um, have you ever noticed certain juices and certain tanks they get kind of like this residue, like something's not getting vaped? And I'm just wondering if the problem is that the atomizer is this getting gummed up? So I'm going to dump out uh, this this juice. I'm going to do a hard rinse on the uh, the atomizer itself under a hot tap. Uh, refill this with juice, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I will see you back after the edit. Okay, if you notice, if you look at how brown and icky and gummed up that is, I'm thinking that that's contributing to all that brown, ugly residue. Let's see if we can get that a little closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go run this over a hot tap. And one thing you always want to do is when you run it under a hot tap is you want to pull this gasket down. So let me just show you how you do that. Well, you just pull it down. Hang on. Okay. Now hopefully you can see quite a bit better. See that? You should actually be able to see right through it. It's all brown. It's ick. I'm going to go run this under a really hot tap and see what I can what I can do. I'll show you the difference here in a second. Okay, so I just ran this under a really hot tap and it's not completely white. I guess I could have held it down with a pair of pliers and gotten it totally clean. In fact, I might just do that before I continue just to be extra, extra scientific. Yeah, in fact, let me just give that another quick rinse. Okay, so use the pliers to rinse this off a little bit more. Um, as you can see, it's not totally white. I don't think it's going to get any whiter. Um, but that is about as clean as you're going to want it to get. The only problem now is you have an atomizer that's completely soaked in water. So that's why we need to blow it out. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I just blew out this, uh, this atomizer here for the Kanger which still won't focus because I have retarded equipment. Um, first thing you want to do after you get this out is I just like to dab it dry. I just like to let see how much water that's picking up just by touching it. So I just want to wick away some of that water. And then we're just going to blow it out into a paper towel. Okay, and just a little more dabbing. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head or the bottom piece here of the Kanger Aero Tank and I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm just going to clean out the excess juice that likes to collect in there. Just quick and dirty clean. Now you might be asking yourself, but, but dorking vapor, how, what, what are we gonna do with with an atomizer that, that that's all soaked up with water? Well, we're gonna dry burn it. We're gonna do it very carefully because if you don't very carefully dry burn 
you will scorch your atomizer and you'll ruin it. So this is kind of a technique I learned from watching one of Pete Bassardo's videos. So really, the thanks go to him. So let's just screw this right back in here. And I'm going to put this back on the Provari. Let's dial down the voltage way off of 4 volts where I usually run these. Because, like, well, I would dial down the Provari if I could, you know, stop at the right button push. Okay, so I'm going to dial this down to like 3.2. Screw this guy right on top. Look at that. Doesn't that look like something from your nightmares? And then I'm just going to dry burn it. Should be able to hear that crackle. In fact, I'm going to turn that voltage up a little bit more. 3.6, I think. And what I like to do is just... I just like to dry burn. Goes into a pop a little bit. Just, just milking it. Until I hear it popping a little bit less. There we go. That's it. So we take this piece. We're going to push the gasket the rest of the way down. In fact, I like to have mine just up a tiny bit just so it doesn't block any of the wicks accidentally. Maybe about right there. Okay, I'm going to take this piece off. And next, we are going to go get the tank I left in the other room. Okay, I really didn't do much rinsing on this tank. Um, Again, this is just kind of maybe every other tank fill-up maintenance. I have not like a major clean I'm trying to do here. So let's go ahead and fill this up with some juice. Right now it is liquid um, banana nut bread, which is a juice, one of the very few juices that I've ever encountered that literally tastes identical to what it's advertised as. Smells like banana nut bread, literally tastes like banana nut bread. Now you saw before how dark that juice was. Now let's see. Now fill in this guy up. Hopefully you'll be able to catch this. There we are. Going in. It's dark, but it's nowhere near as dark as it was before. And we're just going to go up to about the top there. Don't want to overfill it. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. Okay. So, see that's, that's really transparent, whereas before it was almost black. And I'm thinking, I'm seeing this more with like the sweeter juices, because I think it caramel caramelizes on the coil. Um, that's the theory that I've got. Let me go ahead and open up this air hole here to equalize the pressure and then close it off again because even though it's an aero tank the only reason why I get aero tanks is because these things when they get hot let's go ahead and clean out the top here as well when they get hot or pressure changes they can flood or not dry out um, having that little dial to open the up the airflow seems to equalize the pressure. 
for our Siamé to be on crack. Which would be kind of hard considering my crack dealer is in prison. Okay, so let's go ahead and screw that back onto Mr. Proveri. And we're just going to leave that at 6 volts. I set it out before. And I'm just going to take a couple dry primer puffs. Okay, let's give it a try. There we go. See, now if I let this just sit a little bit and soak in, it would probably be working a little better. But since I'm filming, I didn't bother. There's also still probably some water in there, so it's also affecting the vape. I'm going to go ahead and power this back up to 4 volts, where I usually run these, and see what kind of difference that makes. Again, still a little watery, still needs a little time, I think, to soak in, but it's just going to be interesting to see if this affects the flavor overall positively. I can't see how it can hurt. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just getting filled up with that residue. Um, I mean, I know I could dump it out every time I get to, like, the last quarter of a tank. I, I just hate wasting juice like that. Uh, let's give this another vape. Yeah, that's slowly coming back to life. What I normally expect performance-wise of one of these, and I've got some uh, Mr. Good Vape uh, Dabble Do You right here. Let's give that a shot. The performance you usually see is more like this. It's big fluffy clouds. There we are. So, I'll make another video in a couple days and let you know how things went. And that's it. Dorking vapor. Dorking like a maniac. <laughs>